Hi everyone, just a little brief um, quick tip regarding tenants that wish to break their lease, what it means for landlords and what it means for tenants. Um, basically there is a fee attached to getting out of your contract early, much like a mobile phone contract. If you want to cancel mid-term, then depending on how far into the contract, that's what uh, fee you're going to pay. So usually if you've gone past the halfway mark, so say it's a 12 month lease and you've reached six months, then you are required to pay a four week break lease fee. So whatever your weekly rent is times four. Now, um, just for all those um, landlords out there, we tend to here at Novak like to get the break lease fee up front because sometimes tenants want to take that from their bond and that's not what the break lease fee is for. The, the bond is for repairs and damages when the tenant vacates and the break lease fee is a fee made payable for uh, the contract to be broken. Um, that fee covers expenses for the landlord such as advertising to re-advertise the property, um, also the let fee that the agent charges again and depending on how long it takes for the property to be re-let. So um, that's pretty much um, all the tenant has to do, pay that fee up front. Um, they can then give as short as one day's notice. So they can bring the keys into the office after they've paid their fee and say, look, we're moving out tomorrow or on the weekend, in which case the agent then has that four week re-advertise the property um, to find another tenant for the landlord. Um, if it's unfortunate that you have to break your lease in the first month or two, it is a six week fee. Um, so it's a little bit more expensive, but look, it's there to cap um, the fee um, for the landlord and mainly the tenant. In the past, it used to be, you know, an, until the landlord finds another tenant, you keep paying rent. And sometimes that could have stretched out to six or eight weeks. So the legislation was changed some time ago. So it's either six weeks or four weeks. Um, and if you're ever unsure of, you know, how far into the contract you are, you can contact your agent and they can let you know. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell. That's the break lease fee breakdown. Thank you.